today I have a pretty extensive fabric haul to share with you. I have been collecting these pieces for kind of the last month from a couple of different places and my final package came after, it was crazy, it was almost two or three weeks later than all the other packages even though I ordered it first, um, came last week. So I'm now able to film this video. I have pretty well makes for most of them but there's a couple that I'm not entirely sure what to make so any suggestions would be fabulous in the comments below. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for all of your comments and love and likes and subscribes from my last video. It's just, it was quite overwhelming actually. It was, yeah, just not something that I expected. I've been gone from this channel for four years. So this sewing community is just absolutely incredible and I'm so, so happy to be back. So before we jump in, I am wearing the classic knitted camisole from Darling Jador. Not sure how to pronounce that, sorry, but I will link it below. This was such a fun knit. It was so easy. It took me a couple of days to knit it up, which for me is incredible because usually with my knitting projects, I <laughs> start something and then take forever to finish it. Um, but this was a really, really quick knit and I absolutely love it. This is probably not quite the right yarn to be using. It's a cotton that I just had in my stash. I've been trying to use up my um, stash before I buy any new yarn, uh, but I definitely would make this again. It has a beautiful V neck at the back as well. Um, I will share this in an upcoming makes video uh, where I share all the things I made while I was gone, <laughs> but I just wanted to mention it. it's a really, really great knitting pattern. Um, and I absolutely loved making it, but next time I would make it out of something a little bit flowier um, for sure. My bump is, I actually did size up for this one just so that it would accommodate my growing bump, which looks really big in this t-shirt today. Anyway, let's jump into the fabric haul. So these first four fabrics are from Spotlight and I purchased them specifically to make sunny dresses. I've made one sunny dress um, well, I've made a couple, but I recently made a sunny dress and I have been living in it. So I knew I wanted to make more. Um, so I purchased these fabrics from Spotlight specifically for that reason. Uh, there is one in here that I don't think will work and I'll talk about that when I get to it. Um, but yeah, let's start with this gorgeous blue fabric. So this is actually, inside out, this is actually a stunning, let me show you if you can see. Uh, ribbed fabric so I love the idea of um, having a blue kind of it's sort of like gives me sort of denim vibe uh, so I really really loved that so I actually got so much of this I have so this is after cutting my sunny dress I got two meters of it and it was on special I saved like $75 buying the meat ridge that I did um and yeah I've already cut out my sunny dress and I have so much fabric left over so I can't wait to make quite a few things out of this um, maybe like a t-shirt or something like that it is so soft and so beautiful um this one is really lovely because it does have like a bit of a backing to it so it's definitely not see-through uh, I do have a couple coming up which are a bit more see-through um but anyway I absolutely love this so this is going to be sunny dress number two so i also bought in the same fabric style the khaki because i just love khaki this is one of my favorite colors so again it has that beautiful ribbing on there if you can see that i'll do a close-up of the fabrics as well um and again it has the nice backing on it so it is really really soft um, and definitely not see-through, which I love. So that is going to be another sunny dress. And again, I have so much left over, so I think I'm going to make bobs a couple of things out of this as well. Now, the next two are a little bit more see-through. This first one, this pink one, is a gorgeous, gorgeous dusty pink. It is absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. Such a stunning fabric. However, it doesn't have a backing like the other ones do, so it is a little bit more see-through. However, I think I'll be able to get away with this one just because of the color of it as a sunny dress. Um, I haven't cut that one out yet, but again, I have so much of this. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be able to use that for other things. And the final fabric for my sunny, I don't think I'm gonna use this for a sunny because it is definitely too see-through, but it is an absolutely stunning neutral, um, the same as the other one. So it's got the beautiful ribbing on there. 
um, absolutely stunning. So I think I'm going to make a couple of tops of this for myself um, and maybe a few things for bubs as well. But it's just going to be too see-through, I feel, for a sunny dress by the time because the sunny dress is quite fitted, which I love. Um, but especially with my bump, it's just, it's going to be way too see-through. So I think I won't be able to do a sunny dress out of that. But I think I might do a couple of tops out of it um, and yeah, definitely make a couple of things for bobs out of this one. So the remainder of the fabric has all come from Fabric D Stash Groups or a Fabric D Stash Group. I've spoken about the Fabric D Stash Groups in previous videos a long time ago, but I absolutely love using them. I have found so many bargains and just so many pieces of fabric that you wouldn't necessarily find at Spotlight. Um, so I was really excited to find some of these. Some of these probably do come from Spotlight, but it's just a really great way to reuse other fabrics that other sewers aren't going to use anymore, which is one of the things I love about it. Um, so this first one is absolutely stunning. It is not showing up its true beautiful color on camera. So I'll try and when I do the close-ups, get you a better color. It's coming up much lighter, but it's like a do they call it like a bottle green? I think they call it like a bottle green. It is stunning. Um, so I am planning on making a Katarina dress out of this. It, uh, like a midi length Katarina that I can wear t-shirts underneath or something a little bit more formal. I love the Katarina dress. It is such an easy make and I just think it would look so gorgeous. So this is a knit. It's quite a thin knit. Um, but I just think it would work so well as a Katarina. I do have a knit um, Katarina already and it's so comfortable. So I think this would look super gorgeous with like a white top underneath or something like that. Um, I am also trying not to buy any new patterns for myself this year. I have so many patterns. I have so many in books. I have so many in my Seamwork subscription. I have so many um already that i have downloaded and purchased so i really don't need to be buying any more patterns so i am trying to utilize just some of my favorite patterns ones that i know are easy to sew um, or i am going to try a couple of new ones but from uh, from patterns that i already own so that's my kind of pledge this year is to not buy any new patterns because i have so many already so yeah the Katarina is a fave for me, so I'm definitely going to make one out of this. And like I said, I will try and get a better close-up of the colour once I um, do the close-ups because it's not showing quite how gorgeous this fabric really is. So the next one is in the same colour tones. I actually don't know what I'm going to do with this fabric and it might be a fabric that I wait until after I've had bobs to do. So it is this absolutely stunning cotton with this gorgeous floral print on there. It is so beautiful. I actually have quite a lot of this. Um, so it could become a dress or a skirt or something like that. I'm thinking possibly a skirt, um, like a more sort of fitted skirt with a zip, but I'm not 100% sure. And until, until I get rid of the bump, I'm not really sure I wanna to commit to making anything out of this. But if you have suggestions on a lovely pattern for this fabric, I would love to know if you wanna leave them in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, it's just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it is a cotton, so it just is stiff. There's no give in this one. So at the minute, I'm just, I can't really do <laughs> fabrics with no give while I'm pregnant. So I am um, probably going to leave this one until after I've given birth and then make something cute out of that. So this next one is a little bit plain. It is just white, plain white, but it is like a gorgeous, I don't really know, like a Georgette or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what kind of fabric this is, but it doesn't have any give, but it's, it's beautiful. So I thought it would make some sort of cute top um, to wear underneath the bottle green um, Katarina dress, um, or just a really nice white top that I can wear with skirts, because I'm tending towards skirts a lot more um, now that I am pregnant. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I have quite a bit of it, like enough to make a top, so I would really like to make some sort of nice top out of this. Um, so I'm going to, there's a couple of seam work patterns that might work really well for this. So I might have a look into them and see. Um, yeah, but if you have any suggestions on like a seam work pattern that you've used or something like that, um, I would be forever grateful. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be some sort of top um, 
to do that with. I think I've spoken about this in the past, but I tend not to buy fabrics unless I have some idea what I'm going to do with them. I don't love just having, I mean, I have a stash of fabrics, but a lot of them have projects kind of associated with them. I just haven't gotten around to them yet, even though I'm buying more fabric. Um, but I do like to try and have some sort of idea of what I would make with a piece of fabric before I purchase it. The last one that came from this particular D stasher is this absolutely stunning, again, I think it's like a Georgette or something similar, um, but it is like a bluey grey. It's sort of hard to describe the colour. Um, it is coming up pretty, almost like a lilac on the camera, which is, yeah, maybe it's like a lilac-y bluey grey. Uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's, it's quite a, um, oopsie need to fix that uh it's quite a like not wide fabric like that's how wide it is but i have a lot of it so i think i'm going to make this into a skirt and i was thinking about making it into a zinnia but version three i think it's the one with the button placards down the front i'm going to do a faux one not an actual button placard um and yeah i just thought that would be a really cute zinnia like a midi length zinnia um then i could you know wear like the white with it would look super cute or even black would go cute with it as well um so yeah i thought that'd make a really cute zinnia but yeah the version with the buttons down the front and i think i'll put wooden buttons on this one just because i think it would look super cute um but yeah that's kind of my plans for this one and i have so much of it if you haven't checked out fabric d stash groups i'll link the one that i use which is in australia down below um, but i would assume that overseas you would have local fabric d stash groups in your areas so the last two are a little bit more out there than what i tend to buy usually but i was really attracted to these fabrics so yeah i bought them um so the first one is this one so it has like little magpies on there i don't know if you have magpies elsewhere i think it's more of a south australian thing anyway it's really gorgeous this is a jocelyn proust print um yeah, Jocelyn Prouse print. This is These were exclusive to Spotlight, so these are from Spotlight. Um, but they are actually, I bought them from a D stasher, but they originally came from Spotlight. Um, so yeah, it's really, I don't know, just the colours just really attracted me to it. I just really love it. So I'm going to make a skirt out of this. Um, just some sort of really simple, simple, simple skirt, just because it has, you know, quite a significant pattern on there. So I don't want to have anything that's too complicated but I thought that would make a really nice skirt um, that I can wear you know black or white or colors with and the last bit of fabric is also a Jocelyn Prowse print I have there is so much of this like it's crazy how much there is I think it's maybe two meters or something um but it is this stunning floral print so it has actually got similar flowers to what's on this one um, so they must be from the same range, but it's just the flowers this time on like a really beautiful background. It's stunning. So I'm thinking some sort of dress for this, but I'm not 100% sure on a pattern. Um, so any suggestions would be um, lovely on that. But I think it would make a really, really beautiful dress. And I might have enough to make something else out of it too. So but yeah, really, really happy with um, this fabric choice. But yeah some sort of dress it's definitely a lot louder than what I would usually go for um, but I don't know I was just really attracted to the fabric so I bought it and that comes to the end of the fabric haul that's probably one of the biggest fabric hauls I've had for a long time um, the packages came separately so Kenneth didn't necessarily know that I'd purchased all that fabric although I tell him anyway and I show him all of them so I don't really hide anything from him um, but yeah they're my makes I would love to know what you're planning to make this month or if you have any suggestions for any of the fabrics that I've shown you please pop them in the comments below I am going to leave you now with a little snippet of Bailey because there has been so much love for Bailey on my posts and my videos um, that I've been putting up over the last week or so so I thought I would share a little bit of Bailey to end this video I will see you in my next one. My next video is going to be my makes that I have made whilst I've been gone. So there are quite a few of them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing since I've been gone from this channel. So watch out for that one in the next couple of weeks and I will see you soon. Bye.